All right, well, you don't have to. Just be ready to do it, just in case. All right, Sing along, ready? then. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Ready? We another vocal presence. Wait, you started off, right? Yeah. Okay. One. No one's going to be able to hear Oh, hold on, I did that in the wrong key. Stop! Yeah, you did. Stop! Stop! Stop. 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 Are you guys like the new Devo? <laughs> <laughs> We're actually sleek body. Sleek body. Going to Sun God Lawn, where Sleek Body had its second to last performance, but personally, I think it was the best. Pretty gloomy day. Hello. I am Sean from Schleek Body, and this, this is my Yamaha PS6 keyboard. Number one, the accents are not real. If I want to be in Swedish rock band, I need to sound Swedish, right? Um, I mean, I guess, I guess this whole time they could have been faking. Anyone could probably tell, I probably don't even sound like a Swedish guy, but, you know, in the, all the band equipment's there, and the mic's right in front of you, it just, comes out, you know? Doesn't doesn't let go of you. Oh my god, we almost said yeah. How do you make songs, you ask? Yes? How do you make songs? Number two, Sean wrote nothing. I turned my Yamaha PSR6 on and went to sleep. And while I rolled around in my bed with Yamaha PSR6, I recorded the sweet melodies I made. When I woke up I listened to it. And about once every six months, I would get something that sounded like a melody. And that is how we made our best music. I don't understand anything about that guy. You know, Mr. You know, PRS, whatever. I don't understand. What was he talking about? It was like his lover or something? Or he wanted us to think it was his lover? Like, I, I thought he had a girlfriend. It was just him and the keyboard. He slept with it. I don't get it. Oh, she's so, she's so beautiful. I, it's, it's almost as good as I remember. As you know, Sleek Body hasn't been performing for many, many years because of this. More specifically, this. This right here, this is high C key. It doesn't work. It doesn't work either, but sometimes it does. Come on! Come over here, I want to show you. I want to show you the patch of grass that was our stage. I want to show you, come on! You see, this patch of grass is where we played, yeah? And far over here, we had our base, yeah? And right over here, behind the, the amps, which were over there, we had the keyboard here, yeah? And the drums were back here. And guitars were in the middle. And the mics, the microphones, all. We had a bunch of stands, but only one worked. And they were right here. And of course, the audience was all behind you. I guess in terms of sleek body, I was the, uh, like, the roadie, yeah. Oh, like this one time, like, they let me sing for them. I don't know why. It was really awkward. Like, they just made me say sleek body over and over. I didn't know exactly when I should say it. I just kept looking at Nate or Dan. And just like, just say it. I was like, all right. They just, uh, yeah, that's why I'm a roadie, not a, not a backup singer. That, that was a weird time. I'm glad it never happened again. <laughs> Sleek Body always ended their songs by just telling each other to stop. Like, stop, 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 and that became something that only we do. Often the problem we had, because we were so into the song, the pure artistic content of our music. 
You didn't know how to end. You couldn't just write it into the song because nobody wanted to stop. And that's how we established our unique and patented style of telling band to stop. You know, what can I say? Sleek Body always did end badly. Stop! 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 Stop. <laughs> I'm Sleek Body's principal vocalist slash harmonica player. Old Harmy here, I got off uh, Target for two dollars. It's pretty awesome. It's not what it used to be. I got them that first gig at the Cheese Festival. That name Cheese Band really never went away. Cheese Band was Schleek Body, just due to confusion, everyone believes we are now Cheese Band. Everyone called us the Cheese Band because we played for the Cheese Festival first. I hate those words. We're not just a bunch of jerks who go around telling people to eat cheese all the time, not like those Packers or whatever. What about the cheese song? Which one? But it's not my fault. They didn't tell me they were sleek body until the day of, and I had to tell everyone something to call them. They had a bunch of cheese songs ready, so why call them anything else, right? Okay, this is a song about camping, because here we are camping, yeah? For some of us. Uh, you gotta deal with the earlier days and the fans want to hear the stupid cheese songs. You know, that one about Asian people and cheddar, the one about birthday cheese, the one about cheese in your face, the one about the magical cheesed wheel. I don't know, there's just too many to remember. Why did we make so many cheese songs? I don't know. I don't even eat cheese. cheese. Sleek Body has had a, a long and difficult, you know, road in terms of finding drummers. Our first breakthrough with the whole drummer situation was when we found one. That was awesome. And the best thing about it is that he had a drum set. Well, we had four drummers, but one set of drums, and they were Gabe's. I drummed with Sleek Body for about a day, I think a day and a half counting practice time. Uh, put some calls in them because I never really got my drum set back, but uh, not sure I won it back. Just bad memories. I think some guy slept with him. That is it. That is where C would have played and angels would have wept for the beautiful music coming from Mr. Yamaha PSR 6. If he talked about the keyboard like a lover, why did he refer to it as Mr.? Now we have nothing. There was sort of like a long line of random people who came in who drummed for us. Like this guy from New Zealand who we never met before and will never know his name again. Or ever, I should say. He didn't play very well. Much like all of the other sleek body drummers. <laughs> but the difference with him is that he thought he was really good. And then uh, we met this really nice guy, Eddie. And uh, he drummed for us. He was probably our longest uh, drummer. Just the, uh, the spirit of Eddie, you know, he just added so much uh, magic to the band. I guess we did have one more drummer after him. They needed a drummer, and I was there. But uh, he wasn't actually really a drummer. He just kind of walked around uh, with drumsticks in his hands, and uh, he didn't actually know how to drum. And they were like, can you like do this? Can you go? But he pretended. And I was like, yeah, I can do that. In our later days, all we were doing was just uh, pretending to perform over our pre-recorded tracks. Through all these people who like, you know, were like, where were your instruments? We were like, dude, we don't need instruments. You know, that was like, you know, their avant-garde face. I think at this point, like, you know, a lot of Christopher's influence took over. Ah, uh, Christopher. <laughs> 
was always pushing more for the avant-garde. And uh, I'm all for the avant-garde, but uh, I guess his, his definition of that was make stuff sound like crap. I don't know. It was just too much. You know, the whole Nate and Christopher thing, I wasn't really aware of it as it happened. I thought it wasn't such a big deal, you know? I mean, to be honest, I was always up in the front, didn't look behind me. I was, you know, playing out to the crowd all the we time. We love camping. We love campus. We love you. So we will play. The instruments kept playing. I, I, I just thought that, you know, everything was cool. When there's any band, you know, when you have, you know, two great songwriters, there's always, you know, clashing. A great partnership can never last forever, and such was the case with Sleek Body. The band was uh, kind of disintegrating. There were rough patches with the members, especially with Nate and Christopher. And the drummer at the time, Eddie, went to Japan. And by the time they started playing without any instruments and wearing even crazier costumes, that was the last gig I could get for them. I thought I might as well bail. These guys came out of the back, you know, the guys who were running you know, the whole thing in a jig concert, whatever. And they were like, dudes, here, you can have these cups. We were like, sweet, what for? And they were like, you know, just to make sure, you know, that you should never come back. And that's when we really knew that, you know, something was really wrong. On the internet forums I've been reading and there's much speculation as to whether Schleek Body will ever get back together, but I don't know if it is just me or what, but I honestly don't think that is possible with the rest of the band dead and all. I am not dead. John said we died in a plane crash. It would be great if they weren't dead, but they're dead. Dead people don't play music. Yeah, I don't, I don't really see a reunion happening, given that uh, our most, you know, reliable drummer is in Japan, Christopher is in England, our manager is in England, our keyboardist is crazy. I get a call from Dan every once in a while, but uh, I don't know, it's kind of sad. I try to avoid him. He just kind of really wants to make it happen again. But he just got to let go, you know? Hello, sun he just, uh, sort of became Sleek Body, and then after that, I, I don't know, he just kind of lost his own sense of identity, and uh, I don't know. I hope he's okay, you know? It's getting cold. Very cold. You want to go home? No, no, not yet. Just a little bit longer. A little bit longer. I miss with this chocolate. This sleek body gave me purpose, you know. Now I'm just like, man, what's left but, you know, just eat some more peanut butter. Body. We'll be back. Body. We're definitely going to come back. Body. I just don't see sleek body ever happening again. That's alright, you know, I've moved on with my life. I'm working on some other stuff. Like, uh, you know, songs. And stuff. We are sleek. You are weak. We are strong. You are wrong. We are right. You wanna fight? But well, we refuse. Cause you would lose. We will abuse. Are you amused?